Math YouTube channel. This video is for you who want to take a CAT exam in 2024. Let us know what this exam is about and how to prepare for it. Okay, so first let's discuss the overview of CAT exam. So CAT is nothing but a common admission test. It is conducted for the purpose of admission for MBA program. It is offered by various top B schools and IIM in India. So almost 2 lakh people appear for this exam every year. So in last year if you see there were uh, 2 lakh 2.8 lakh candidates appear for this exam in 2023. So next we can see the registration details. So registration for this exam is done in online mode. The application form usually opens in the first week of August and closes by the middle of September. Maximum this exam will conducted on last Sunday of November. If you see for this year for 2024 it will be conducted on 24th of November which is nothing but the last Sunday in November month. Okay. Next the registration fees for last year was rupees 2400 for general category and rupees 1200 for reserved category. To talk about the eligibility there are two major conditions. So the first one is the aggregate marks of graduation should be minimum 50 percentage for reserved sorry for uh, general category and 45 percentage for reserved category. So aggregate mark is nothing but a overall consolidated mark your all semester marks should be combined and result 50 percent for general category. So same as like for reserved category all combined marks that is consolidated marks should be 45 percentage more than 45 percentage okay. Next up. The other condition is that you should complete minimum of 3 year graduation degree. Whether it is in online or offline mode, you should complete 3 year graduation minimum. Okay. Next, uh, final year students, uh, while uh, conducting exam uh, in November month, if you are studying final year, then you are eligible for this exam. So, no work experience is required for this exam. If you have, then it's okay. Still, you can apply for it. Next coming to syllabus and pattern of exams. So if you see a uh, syllabus of CAT exam is not constant every year. It differs uh, somewhat like uh, the topics asked will be differ every year. But the constant one is pattern like the sections, number of questions, timings are constant for every year. So if you see uh, in CAT there were three sections. So total number of questions are 66 questions. So timing is total 2 hours. It has a sectional timing. Each section consists of 40 minutes. So between uh, the sections you can't switch between the section. Okay. Uh, the first section. So let's discuss the sections later. So first sections it is for 40 minutes and then you can go only to the second section not to the third section. Okay. So let's discuss that sections. There were three sections as I mentioned earlier. The first one is Verbal Ability and Reading Comprehension, VARC, Data Interpretation and Logical Reasoning, DALR, Quantitative Aptitude, that is nothing but Quants. So in each section, see how many questions they were asking. In uh, VARC, there were 24 questions. DALR, there is 20 questions. And for Quants, it is 22 questions. So, uh, type of questions differs here. Maximum, uh, there were two types of questions. One is MCQ, that is nothing but multiple choice question in which four options are given. Among these four options, one will be the right answer. And next is TITA questions. TITA questions is nothing but type in the answer question, that is fill in the blanks. You have to, uh, there were one box, you have to fill the answer in that box. Uh, either it may be uh, English related questions or also uh, aptitude questions in which you have to write the final answer in that box. So MCQ questions 48 questions will be MCQ type and 18 questions will be TITA question type. So marking system. So for every correct answer you will get 3 marks. It is for both MCQ type question and TITA question. For wrong answer one mark will be deducted that is we have negative mark in CAT exam. One mark will be de deducted for wrong answers. That two only for MCQ, no negative mark for TITA questions. Since it is a fill in the blanks questions, we have no negative marks. So for unanswered questions, if you skip any questions, that question has no marks. Next, 
see uh, so the maximum marks we can see here is already we said that for VA or C there are 24 questions for each question mark is 3 so totally 72 marks for uh, first section and for second section it is uh, 60 marks and for third section it is 66 marks so overall if you see there were 198 marks this CAT exam is for 198 marks so in general this CAT exam is considered to have moderate to difficult level we have three levels of uh, questions easy moderate and difficult so overall exam level is moderate to difficult okay next coming to preparation strategy there are two options for every individuals so the one is self preparation so the other is coaching center let's talk about self preparation first so i will give you some ideas on self preparation so firstly you need some video content to clear your concepts and also some preferred books for this secondly you require a question bank for practice that to a previous year questions so that you can get some idea how the question will be next thirdly you need mock tests to solve to make your preparation effective because uh, by solving the mock test paper you may face many difficult questions in that okay maximum mock test papers will be a uh, most difficult than the real cat exam so it may mold you to a better version so if you are the one who are planning to self prepare for this exam you can refer our channel for video contents so already we have posted videos related to aptitude topics each aptitude topics we have uh, several videos you can refer that moreover we can also start focusing on previous year questions for cat exam so i can also suggest you a book named oswald books which is available in amazon for cat mock test papers and chapter wise questions so that helps you to make your learning effective so please check out this link the link have been given in the description box so next if you are the one who is looking for a coaching center then before joining the coaching center you have to do certain things that is you have to visit their website and uh, visit their free demo videos and then check reviews before joining so this is mandatory because you should have some idea about this coaching center before joining this okay or else you can ask some others help like your seniors or other members have cracked cat before this is all about cat start your preparation earlier and aim to score high so if you have any doubt while preparing for this exam if you have doubt in any questions you can ask me in instagram or telegram that's all for today i hope this video will be very useful for you all stay tuned for more videos and thank you